Vincent Williams. You're joining uh, Celtics Media Day and the uh, Amanda Show, as we, uh, if you want to sing that again. Amanda, 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 I know it sounded like you had the option of whether you wanted to go to summer league or not. It sounds like you took the time to work on those things you just mentioned. Um, a lot of people out there were wondering why you didn't go and play in summer league. But so just to get it straight, straight from the horse's mouth, like what was the decision making there of, of why you wanted to work on yourself privately? Yeah, it was, it was in the exit meeting. I was sitting there with Brad and we were just talking about what, what the plans were for the summer and mm -hmm. what we envisioned. And he asked if I, uh, he gave me the option and he said, it, don't really recommend I don't think you should and I was like I don't think I should either and then we just kind of decided there that we he didn't call me back or anything else so we just kind of moved on and, mm -hmm. and kept going from there so uh, the real biggest thing was we both knew that um, weight wise I wanted to get to where I wanted to be and for me that was about not only just dieting but being able to work and grind on my own and truly get down to where I want to be so um, those are probably the two biggest things leading to that decision and uh, it's, it's paid off so far shooting the ball very well right now so feeling great about it. Take us take us through what those workouts look like and also with with your nutrition and diet that you were on. Yeah, nutritionally, I hired a chef. Um, that was something that was probably a big part of the summer. Um, thankful for Scott and what he's, we've been able to do. And then on the court-wise, just trying to get my shots faster, that was the biggest improvement because I shot a great percentage last year above league, league average, but it wasn't like I shot many attempts. So being able to shoot more attempts at a higher rate as well as um, – knocking them down more consistently because um, I don't want to be on an inconsistent stretch where I go make eight in a row and I miss four in a row. So I want to be more consistent where it's like every night you have to worry about me shooting. You remember that pasta dish we made together? You're not making those pasta dishes No pasta. Anymore. I haven't eaten we pasta in a while. Zoom. Yeah, we did it over Zoom in the beginning. Was that in the beginning of summer or was that before summer? That was at the beginning of summer. Beginning yeah. of summer. That was before I hired the chef. Now I hired the chef. <laughs> I haven't had pasta since. So let's just say Love I'm feeling it. pretty good about it. So when, when you have a chef, do you, can you make recommendations of certain things that you want to eat? Or does he come out and say, no, this is this is what every day is? Or can you it's, kind of incorporate It's a little bit of both. Um, we, we just make the plan for the week, probably that Sunday. And then uh, if we want to adjust during the week, we can. Say I want to eat out one day or, or have a planned dinner or something like that that we can change it but um, typically we make the schedule adjust it a lot of it's been leaner proteins a lot of it's been uh, things that necessarily don't put a lot of weight on you uh, been strict to a calorie count and tracking the macros as well as tracking my performance you know I've been adapting to the new diet so um, feeling pretty good about it still have a long ways to go in my opinion but uh, down I think 15 pounds from last season so I'm wow. feeling pretty wow. good Put in the work, you're seeing the seeing the dividends. So great, great for you. Yep. Um, you you mentioned your three point shooting and that you shot it well last season. I feel like a lot of people don't really understand that the numbers actually say that you were a really good shooter last year. 37 percent overall from three, 45 percent from the corners. Um, where do you feel with your shot right now? Um, where do you think those numbers might fall this season for you? Um, I'm just hoping that they increase. Um, being consistent in the corner shot, that's that's going to be huge, especially for this team and the amount of talent that we have this year, as well as being able to shoot above the break pick and pop scenarios, getting guys open because a lot of times they might pick the worst defender or one of the guys that, say, the best player like Luca. maybe if we play Matt Dallas, they'll put him on me. So being, being able to involve him in actions on defensive end and then knock down the shot of Jason or JB or Al or whoever else creates the opportunity for me. And then uh, being able to create a little bit more driving, kicking, creating more action, just keeping the ball moving, doing the job that I'm asked to do. Well, I'm, I'm hearing from some sources that you've been doing a lot of those things in the open gym runs uh, over the last uh, X amount of time that you've been in Boston. Um, I'm really hearing that you're playing at a high level. Talk us through how you think you've been playing in those games. What stood out to you as maybe some improvements that you've made um, that, you, that we're now going to see when you get on the court in some NBA games? Yeah, the game's starting to slow down a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, coming in a little bit more natural, but still kind of have to understand myself a little bit better. I have to understand that uh, – 
things that you want to do may not necessarily be the neat things you mm-hmm. need to do. So um, adapting to that, being able to um, take the opportunity as it come, uh, that's something where I played. The best day I had was probably when I was playing that way and playing just making the right read every single time. So not trying to force anything and um, shooting the ball pretty well. So um, that's that's probably the, the two biggest things. Uh, I don't know who said that, but thank you to whoever said that. Hopefully, I can keep that can up the camp. Sources, I can't reveal Mark. sources. I was say, don't no, reveal the, I mean, don't reveal the sources. sources. No worries. But I'll um, hopefully continue that through camp going into the season and feel comfortable playing with the guys that um, hopefully he's brother on the team. Amanda, we know how humble this guy is. When he says he's shooting the ball pretty well, it, you're I think it it's like shooting it great. Okay, so we can read between the lines here, Grant. <laughs> but I, we have, as we mentioned before at the top of the show, it's been a very busy off season for this Celtics team and in, in hiring a new coach in Ime Udoka. I'm curious what you know your conversations have been like with him since he started. He's a great coach, um, great players coach, a guy that not only can converse with you and talk to you, but also get on you. And that's something that um, I think this team will need and a guy that everyone kind of ha- think has that respect for and trust. So i um, excited, especially the familiar faces. We have a lot of new faces, but we have some familiar faces to keep us sane. We still have Brad, we still have Austin guys in the front mm-hmm. office, and then we still have Joe Mazzula, Tony Dobbins. So um, it's a mix of old and new, but I'm excited because I think everyone here wants to be the best that we can be and wants to really make the season a great one. So um, a lot of positive energy, a lot of um, fresh vibes, and it's going to be an uh, exciting, exciting mm-hmm. start. How do you feel him being a former player too, you being able to relate to him and, and come to him about certain things because he does understand the day-to-day life of an NBA player? Absolutely, especially in a role kind of similar to my own. Uh, he was kind of a kind of an in-between guy, the guy that did everything the coach asked him to do. So I'm very um, thankful to have a guy like that around where I can pick his brain and not only for on the court, but how he, how he managed everything off the court as well um, because um, – that's just really all this life is about, being able to perform and also being able to uh, make the lives around around you easier. So uh, my job, similar to that of his when he was playing. So um, having a guy like that around, being able to talk to him is going to be great. And he did it at a high level. But yeah. you just said off the court. We're going to go off the court here right now. We got a Twitter question from the fans for Grant. What are you looking forward to most about being an NBPA vice president? Um, I would say the most thing I'm looking most forward to is probably the CBA negotiations. It's going to be the mm. even though it's probably the you're most looking difficult, forward to that. Okay. Even though it's the most, I think a lot of people fear that. It's a so it's I like that. As, but I would just say that it's going to be my first time. It's um, early in the league. It's something I've never really done or been a part of. So it's going to be interesting to see the discussions and hopefully. Um, I'll be able to grow my knowledge now in that f- that field, kind of contract negotiations, kind of how the league runs, because um, it's good to see what it's like on the court, and it's also good to see what really goes into the business of things. Mm-hmm. When you wrap up the negotiations, you're going to be like a qualified agent at that point. So if you want to rep any of us, like feel free to step in. I- I'll hire you as my agent, depending on what the results are of the, of the negotiations. I was about to say, I'll, I'll let me, you. let me, I'll let's see how the results go, and then let's see how much impact I have in that before, before we have I'm that already, I'll, I'll pay you instead of the 10%, I'll pay you the 20%. Oh, I do think wow, how that about would, that? That's well, big I do think time. that you would really, That's really, a really good commitment. That, so. I got to work hard then. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grant, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Great to see you again. Great to see you as well. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Grant.